Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. And if you could take a minute, can you please leave a comment below? You know, let me know what you think about my channel. Maybe some things you'd like me to talk about on this channel. Even if it's bad or good, just put it in the comments below. I really like, love to get some feedback, especially, you know, we're going to start a new year pretty soon. 2022 is going to start just around the corner, okay? So Merry Christmas to all of you. What this video is about today is about diarrhea stoppers. And the one diarrhea stopper I want to talk about is Imodium. And the reason I'm talking about this one is because it's the main, it's the main one. Everybody knows what Imodium is. There's lots of knockoffs with this product diarrhea stoppers but this one here i can relate to my own journey of recovery that's what i'm going to talk about how does emodium relate to my recovery well in my last couple of years of drinking believe it or not i had the runs like crazy i go out and drink and i have the diarrhea for the next two or three days and i used to take these on a regular basis. I was taking two to three to four of these things a day, four or five days in a row, believe it or not. And I did that for, like I said, the last three years of my drinking. If you can relate to that, this video is definitely for you. If you're taking these on a regular basis, just listen to what I have to say about these sort of products. I'm not picking on a modium just to let you know that. I took those products, the diarrhea stoppers, for three years, like I say, pretty well every day, five to six days a week. My drinking at the end was daily and I used to drink a lot and I had a bad case of the shit. I really, really did. So these products helped me cope with my daily life, going to work, going on the bus, going on a date, whatever it is, because I always had these urges to go to the washroom and sometimes I came close to shit in my pants, believe it, or not, it really, really happened. So I got used to taking these products. When I used to take this product, it was about $5 for 12 of them at that time. So at that, you know, it was kind of expensive, but it worked, it worked really well for me. So what happened to me at the end of my drinking career, I started taking these a little bit more at the end there. And when I stopped drinking, what happened? They affected my bowels. That's what happened, this product not this product, but products like this, diarrhea stoppers, over the counter, affected my bowels. I went to my medical doctor and I asked my doctor, would these you know, have any negative effects on my health? And he said, no. But what happened to me is they shut down my bowels. They really did. I went, had to go to a specialist because I was always constipated and couldn't go to the washroom properly. And the, one of the first things that specialist asked me, what am I taking? or what did I take to stop the diarrhea? And I told him, and that gentleman told me, you gotta get off that kind of stuff. And your bowels will get retrained and it'll work for you. They'll work for you again, but it will take a number of months. And it really did. And he said, every time you have to go to the washroom, just go to the washroom if you can, right? But I'm telling you, I was constipated to the max because of the, these products. And it affected my health immensely. It really, really did. And the reason I took them is because of my alcoholism. So if you're taking these products in order to go to work because you got the shits or you got some shit blasts going on or whatever it may be happening to you, uncontrollable bowel movements, go to your doctor or quit drinking, do something like that because long-term effect of these products will harm you. They really, really will. Any medicine, that you take over the counter that you don't need a prescription for is still harmful to you. It's still a drug. It's an aspirin or Pepnobismol or Metamucil or Imodiums or whatever it is, it's still a medicine. And taking over long periods of time can have negative effects on your health. If you're taking this product for a number like two or three year, weeks, not years like me, weeks, you need to go and see your doctor and discuss what is going on with you, okay? But that's what this video is about. Imodium and alcoholism. That's how it came together for me. These had a major negative impact on my health. Thanks to I quit drinking for many a year, years now. I've used Imodium a few times over the last 20 years when I have a flu or I'm going up to speak and I'm very nervous, but I only take one and that's it 
and maybe one every, I don't know, six, eight, ten months, maybe one a year now. So I don't use them like I did. My bowels are working properly nowadays and everything seems to be working down there when it comes to the plumbing, thanks to my sobriety. So I hope you can relate to that. I really do because alcoholism affects us in so many ways, so many negative ways, ways that sometimes we don't even know it's happening to us, okay? So leave a comment below if you found this video helpful. If you can, can you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. As usual, we're, not, we're all in this together. Together, we can grow sober one day at a time. You can have a terrific life, okay? My name is Terry G. Merry Christmas. Stay safe, stay sober. God bless, and I'll see you next week. And thanks a lot for stopping by. Remember, get off the emodium, eat naturally, look after yourself, and you will be the difference everybody else sees. Okay, ciao for now.